So there is a captain, but he's just simply just the most experienced person on the team. Everybody on the team is very proactive in trying to win the game. They want to defend the team, to score for the team, and to win for the team. Nobody is saying, well, it's all empty. Winning is empty. Running around is empty. Right? I will just sit here and meditate. <laughs> right? That's not going to help the team to win. And at the same time, nobody is trying to be the leader. They all play according to the roles. They're not trying to be the leader. If you have the ball, and somebody is in a better position to shoot, you pass the ball to that person. Just because you have the ball doesn't mean you have to shoot to score. But if you're being blocked and somebody is open, you should pass the ball onto that person, right? So whoever's in the best position to score, we should pass the ball to that person. Now, not necessarily the captain shooting for the team. So it doesn't matter who scores. The most important thing is that the team wins the game with the support of the whole team by virtue of teamwork. So the virtue of teamwork is sanyata, kongxing. Teamwork is kongxing, is sanyata. Because without the team members, there is no team. If nobody's willing to play for the team, then there is no team. So this kongxing, this sanyata is the teamwork. So we are working for the team, but there is no team because the team is made up of different team members and they have the same goal. Even if they're made up of different team members, but if they don't have the same goal, then there is no teamwork. Everybody's trying to play and score for themselves. I remember a few years ago watching the Olympics. The U.S. basketball team was probably the most qualified because they made of all superstars players. They are well-known, rich, very well-trained. They were all superstars. But yet, when they played, they lost to a basketball team in Brazil. And that was because they were all trying to score the ball themselves. They thought that they would be able to just handle this game by themselves, all on their own. So there was no teamwork. Even though they were made of different team members, but there was no teamwork. All right, so Sanyata Kongxing is like teamwork without the team members without the spirit of the team, without the same goal of trying to win, then there is no teamwork. If people are willing to support for the team, work for the team, then yes, there's teamwork. But as long as there's nobody willing to play for the team, then there's no teamwork. So what I'm trying to say here is, when we study Sutra, we should study in its entirety, and that we should understand where we are we can't just say, go to the sutra and then read this verse or the heart sutra to visualize everything is empty and that we don't need to do anything because without motivation, it's very difficult to progress. We'll talk about suchness. Sanyata kongxing. So this kongxing, this sanyata is the teamwork. And that's reality. And that's conditionality.